Okay, here's an example of how you can finish your architectural tile. What we're going to be doing is called a wash finish, where we paint a layer of black India ink over the surface. You let that dry, and then you can choose a metallic color to paint over the top. The black India ink will stay inside the carved areas, and then the metallic on the surface will kind of make these feel like they're made from metal. So to begin, make sure that you have your um, wax paper on top of your project board. The wax paper is going to be like your tablecloth and it prevents the clay project from sticking to the board. Then you're going to have a little cup of India ink. There is not much in that cup on purpose because it does not take a lot of ink to do this first step. So what you're going to do is you're going to paint an entire layer where there's carved details with the India ink and you can see that this ink is spreading really easily. I want to use the top of the paintbrush to push the ink into the carved details so that I don't see any of the clay. And you can see how this is still even spreading farther without me having to dip my brush in the ink again. Now I'm not going to paint any on the background where my sky is because I don't have texture lines there, but if I did carve pieces there, I would be painting that area also. Okay, so now when my brush won't spread it anymore, then I'm going to re-dip and then continue to paint, making sure I use the top of the brush to fill in the little dots because you want that black all the way down in the surface, you do not want to see clay anymore. I can still see some dots over here. I'm going to fill that in. And it's up to you if you want to paint the sides of the clay with the black, or you can do that later on when you fill that in with your metallic color. And you do want to be careful with the India ink. It can stain your clothes, so I would not be flinging your paintbrush. I would just use small controlled brush strokes as you're filling in the top layer of the carved textures. And now I'm going to switch to the top of my brush to make sure the paint really goes deep down in the crevices. And it's okay if my brush touches the background some, the paint will cover it in the next step. So when you're finished, you need to be patient and let this India ink dry. It'll take a few minutes. You could pick your tile up and check from all angles that you got all the corners and the little cracks on the inside. Okay, the reason why you have to wait for this to dry is if I switch to my metallic paint right now, um, the black will mix with my metallic paint and darken all my paint colors. And I don't want my paint colors to be darker. I want them to be shiny and metallic on the surface. So I'm going to give that a couple minutes. Um, when you think it's dry, just touch the surface. If your fingers don't have any ink on it, then it's dry. To clean these brushes at your table, you're going to have a Tupperware with a wet sponge. All you're going to do is brush your paintbrush on top of that wet sponge until it's clean. You can turn these sponges over and use the other side. So you really want to check to see that your brush is clean. And then I would use your paper towel and really dry that brush before you start to work with your metallic colors.